I had three women that inspired me in my life. Um, my grandmother, my mother, and my aunt. And uh, they basically told me I could do whatever I wanted to do and not to let anybody inhibit that. And uh, so when I get up in the morning, and sometimes I kind of pinch myself a little bit because I have such a blessed life to get to travel all over the world, to get to meet so many different people, to get to work with so many um, inspirational people. That's what motivates me, is to get up in the morning and to know that I have a purpose, that I'm going to be able to go out there to take a really nice deep breath and enjoy it. My involvement with Kuhn is in education, uh, more of a creative director position. Uh, what we're doing right now is completely in line with what Kuhn is about, which is family owned, um, over 90 years. And I think that was my buy-in when I met um, George Kuhn Jr. in the grocery store in Atlanta. And he came up to me and introduced himself and said, thank you for being a part of our company. And I thought, I'm in. So for me, their value, their core is what I'm about because I'm very family oriented and um, very dedicated and loyal. So I think for me, that's what really strike uh, the interest for me to be with Kuhn. The most gratification that I get when I'm working on someone's hair color is when they turn around and tell me how much they love it. And that for me is what I strive for. I work for that. And I work to, I love being in the service industry. I love to serve and I like the social aspect of it. You know, I like the, the hustle and the bustle of the salon, the ambiance. Um, but most importantly, I love making women feel beautiful. That's what I love to do. I was competing in hair cutting before I became a colorist. And I was doing really well in the circuit. I was winning and being top five, top three. And for whatever reason, this I got a little full of myself. And if you could imagine that. And um, I didn't do well. I didn't even place top 10. And I remember sitting, and it was the very first time my mother and my father went to see me at a hair function. And I remember sitting in the back of the car on the way home from San Diego, and I saw her eyes in the mirror, and I just kind of started to cry. And she said to me, what's wrong? And I said, I didn't win. And she turned around and looked at me, and, and the advice that she gave me was, you can't have everything at once, George. Because if you do, you have nothing forward to look for. And I was like, so now every day, I don't have to have it all at once. I can have a piece at a time and look forward to it again every day. She was you know, a teacher's aide, and she always thought about education. And all my family, their background comes from education somehow. Um, and I just, she just kind of gave me that fire and, you know, and to pursue it. Do whatever you wanted. That's all she kept telling me. Nobody's going to stop you. And I totally, totally believe it. No one will ever stop you if you just be persistent. Mentors and role models, I think, are, are key and they're, um, they're important. But what we have to remember is that you can't become a mentor. You have to be chosen to be a mentor. And when you earn the right by somebody that comes up to you and says, I want you to mentor me, I want you to show me or teach me, that's when you've earned the right to be a good mentor. So, and it's lateral. It's not up and down, it's sideways. So for me, I have to know if I look to my left, I'm going to be open for mentoring. If I look to my right, I know that I'm going to be able to mentor. To have this amazing opportunity to develop and to encourage others to do what they really know what they're doing and just confirm it for them and be a resource is probably the best memory I could ever hold on to. Um, I'm very fortunate to have this second go around in my career. And I say that because you can never take it for granted. I mean, I'm 55 years old and I'm loving life more than ever right now because I have this opportunity. And our industry is shifting, it's moving. So be a part of that and get on track with it because that's what's gonna make everything move.